Welcome to Kyle's Fantasy Football Recap with Kyle. Kyle's Fantasy Football Recap. It's wonderful to be with you today. Okay, appreciate you watching. Let's get, we had it at week six in the books, a lot of exciting fantasy football action. So let's get right to the recap, if we can. Uh, start off, the most exciting was Eli and Jared. Uh, you know, just a defensive uh, struggle, a pitching duel, whatever. Uh, Eli pulls out the win. Behind Matt Ryan's 27 points, I think. And then, you know, Kelly, he was kind of playing Yahtzee with the large straight last week. Uh, Jared gave it a try this week. He had two players score four and two score five, uh, but the other one only scored two. So he could have had a full house, uh, but didn't get it done. So Jared with the low score and the poor Yahtzee performance of the week. So good job, Eli, on the win. Okay, and then we got uh, Kelly with the record-setting uh, victory, most points of the year this year, uh, 178. He had uh, Melvin Gordon, 34 points, and just a whole lot of scoring going on for Kelly. And then Dave with uh, Jacksonville defense, a minus three. Uh, you know, I don't think any of us would have saw that coming. Uh, so Kelly with the big win there. And then uh, Thad and Justin, let's see, Thad. Seattle defense with 32 points, Aaron Rodgers with 25, and for Justin and his Raiders, Amari Cooper with zero. So Thad with the big win there. And, and then let's see, uh, Bobby and I, we had a pretty interesting matchup. We had a lot of players in the Sunday night game, the Chiefs and Patriots. Uh, we both had three players in that game. And I had uh, Kareem Hunt, uh, Tom Brady, and Gronkowski. He had uh, Tyreek Hill, uh, Goskowski, and Travis Kelsey, the tight end. And there's a combined, out of just that game, there's a combined 114 fantasy points. And so it was going back and forth. Uh, a lot of lead changes in this matchup. I believe 10, probably 10 lead changes overall. And uh, Bobby uh, hangs on for the win behind uh, Tyreek Hill's uh, you know, final touchdown towards the end of that game. And so, yeah, Bobby with the big win. Uh, worth noting, my running backs were Kareem Hunt and James Conner combined for 54. Bobby's running backs were Deion Lewis and Alfred Morris combined for two. Uh, you'd think that would have looked good for me, but not so. Bobby still hangs on for the win. And, uh, and just, just for your info, just because it's about me, uh, this, so we've had six weeks. And five times in the six weeks, I've, I've played somebody with a top three score of the week. So uh, nobody else has played more than three such games, but I've played five. So that's exciting. Uh, but, you know, that's just how it is as a champion. I've mentioned it before, you know, just taking everybody's best shot. And uh, evidently this year so far, I've not been able to, uh, to take it. So, you know, I, I kind of feel that trophy slipping away. I was hoping to do another parade next year, but it's not looking good. But I'm going to keep my head up and see how we do from here. And then in the, the battle that you needed a pulse for, or didn't have, or whatever. Anyways, battle for first place, Adam and Brian. Adam, Adam brings it. He wins by uh, decisively by 40 points uh, behind Baltimore. Defense with 45 points. Todd Gurley with 35. And uh, Brian has to be disappointed in... Uh, Stefan Diggs. I've got music playing. I should turn that off. I don't know if you can hear it, but um, Sorry about that if that was distracting and uh, Yeah, so Adam with the first place win So we're excited for Adam He's a he's a streaking guy. So watch for him in your neighborhood. He's won five in a row uh, Got he's you know tied with Bobby for most points in the league. So congrats to Adam um, you know, it all kind of started last year in the consolation bracket. He was, he was down here number 10, 
and he worked his way up for that uh, consolation win, got the first pick in the draft, and man, he is just laying it on everybody. Five wins in a row. Can't say enough about Cousin Adam and his uh, fantasy football uh, prowess. Is that the correct use of that term, pronounce, correct pronunciation? Uh, so good job, Adam. Okay, so standings, we got Adam first place, uh, Bobby and Brian, they flip spots. Everybody else is in the same spot here. Uh, Adam five and one, we've got a group here four and two with Thad and Kelly. And then Eli, fifth, uh, sixth place, three and three. And then Dave and Justin at two and four, and Kyle and Jared, uh, me and Jared, one and, one and five. And so that's kind of cool how the matchups work out too. So the two one and five guys will, will uh, have a battle for last place. Uh, Dave and Justin, two and four, they'll be matched up. And then uh, Bobby and Thad, four and two, going at it. Brian and Kelly, four and two, going at it. And then Adam and Eli, the two with the odd records, be facing each other there too. So uh, shaping up to be a pretty exciting week. So last week was the battle for first place. Uh, this week we'll have a battle, battle for last place. And in addition to this battle, the Patriots play the Bears this week. So, you know, maybe somebody will be double sad or maybe it'll kind of even out. We'll just kind of see how that goes. So a big week for me and Jared. Looking forward to it. And yeah, what else we got? Oh, we got Dave. Let's see, Dave's lost three in a row to go with Adam's five in a row winning streak. So, so yeah, that's the matchups for next week. Uh, is that all I wanted to cover? I think so. I think we're there. So, anyways, uh, good luck to everybody this upcoming week for fantasy football. We're, we wish everybody the best always. We thank you so much for taking time to tune in to Kyle's Fantasy Football Recap. Um, I, just, I just can't say enough about my viewers. You guys are awesome. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time on Kyle's Fantasy Football Recap with Kyle.